31 prizes were given out to persons in different components of Vinci Mass 2022 amounting to some 380,000 easy dollars. Winners also received their checks. Speaking at the prize-given ceremony at the Victoria Park, Chief Executive Officer of the Carnival Development Corporation, Ricardo Adams, says the total prize monies ranged between 580 to 600,000 easy dollars, but some payments had already been made. What we did, we took what would have ordinarily been the prize monies for the masquerade and we divided it up equally among the member bands who were participating and they have actually received more than 80% of their appearance fees already. Meanwhile, the CDC CEO revealed that more than 200,000 EC dollars was spent on music bands on the road in the 2022 Vinci Mass. On the positive side, the CDC raked in 100,000 EC dollars at the gate for the Miss SVG pageant, which was held in October 2022. We had one of the largest turnouts, so notwithstanding the challenges, we were very happy to report that in terms of the persons turning out and the gate receipts, we were very pleased with the Miss SVG. Adams notes that hosting Vinci Mass is an expensive event and an analysis of the economic benefits will be carried out through a study. One of the things that we are doing is we are commissioning a study during the course of this year on the economic impact of Vinci Mass in terms of its cost versus its benefit to the nation of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. National Lotteries Authority contributes $2 million annually to CDC and its chairman, Maury Bollock, is urging the CDC to find innovative ways of generating income to keep SVG's carnival alive. CDC operates a lottery boot that is doing very well and I, I encourage them to perhaps get involved in two or three more in critical areas so that you can increase your income. The Prime Minister who says he helped in drafting the laws for CDC's operation, maybe it's time for some amendments to be made. But I will say that to the extent that we should have amendments or any alterations, we must not make those alterations such as to empower further the CDC in relation to certain matters. The Prime Minister also cautioned the CDC in handling matters of complaints. I understand the this or that component has some gross. Well, I'll be surprised if you don't have complaints. But don't allow those complaints to turn you into a Taliban. No, we deal with those complaints reasonably and rationally. Last week, the CDC came under criticism from soca artist Darren Magical Rouse for not updating them on non-payment six months after the hosting of Vinci Mass 2022. The soca artist, who placed third in the Soka Monarch competition, was not on hand to collect his prize. Winner of Soka and Raga Soka, Delroy Fireman Hooper, was also not present at the prize-giving ceremony. Vinci Mass 2023 will be held from June 30th to July 11th. Larissa Pugsley-Kid, SVG TV News.